The Las Vegas Strip. Man, what an era. How could I have been part of all this? See, I had no idea that I was on my way to Las Vegas. No, I was just driving out west. I never dreamed that within 24 hours, I would be singing in the conga room of the Sahara Hotel with a member of the Sinatra family. But that's just what happened. You see, it was Nancy Sinatra who gave this long-haired kid direct from Vietnam wearing a peace sign for a belt buckle a break. She needed a singer in her show. And I was in the right place at the right time. Man, it was pure luck. That Sinatra name really had magic. Oh yeah, she had me on the Merv Griffin show by the end of the week. I couldn't believe this was actually happening to me, or was I just dreaming? No, it was happening, and so fast that I could hardly keep up. Now, uh, let, let me back up a minute. You see, I was just a singer. I had no hit, I had no TV shows, I certainly wasn't into movies. I was just a singer, without an act. And then one evening in the Hollywood Hills at a party at Merv Griffin's, I think all of Hollywood was there, everything changed. We all stumbled upon the fact that I could mimic just about everybody's favorite singer. Well, that was it. Merv said, we found your act. You're going to be the singing impressionist. Dry your pretty eyes. Come on. You know. He does me real well, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't just do me. He does everybody. Got that. That's his gift. Oh, yeah. No, see, hey, there were guys doing impressions, but nobody was doing singers, and that was going to be me. I had an act. Murph took me back to Caesar's Palace, reintroduced me to the world as a singing impressionist, and I was off and running. He is the most clever singer impressionist uh, in, La in Las Vegas entertainment history, and I'm just delighted he's here today. Wait till you hear him. While he was rehearsing, I was listening to him in my dressing room. And you're really in for a, a pleasant, pleasant He's surprise. Sensation. The guy's incredible. Uh, Bob Anderson, who used to do the ultimate Tony Bennett impression. Oh, wow. Phenomenal, phenomenal impressionist. He's known as the king of singing impressionists because, well, he's just that. Terrific entertainer. You know, yeah. Singer does impressions. Merv Griffin, Mike Douglas, Dinah Shore, <laughs> Rich Little, Jerry Lewis, David Letterman, and the king of late night, could you believe, Johnny Carson. I think you'll be somewhat amazed. He is really super. Would you welcome Bob Anderson? Bob. Man, all that television landed me a two-week contract at the Dunes Hotel that turned into 156 weeks of sold-out performances. I started working with the biggest names in show business, and I really became friends with them all. Well, here it is 30 years later, and I'm still paying tribute to the greatest years of music the world will ever know. I came down this afternoon when Bob was working, and I said, you're going to tear him apart tonight, and he did. Sensational. Thank you, Bob.